Uh, Kai, that's a good question. Um, and kind of leads into one of the things that we did this past uh, month. So we'll just go ahead and start with that. Um, fairly small update this month. Uh, we've been working, as I explained last month, I believe, uh, we started our search facelift. So in-world search facelift, um, super excited about it. We should be able to deploy that in the next two weeks. So keep your eyes peeled. You can't possibly not see it. Um, important things to note here, we've only really changed the way it looks. We have not changed any of the actual search results. So the algorithm that's working behind search has not been touched in any way. Um, so all of your search results uh, will continue to work the same way that they, they were before. So any optimization that you've been doing with your uh, categories, any opt optimization you've been doing with your listings, that'll all still continue to work. That being said, going forward, we are going to the next phase of this, uh, of our overall search uh, overhaul, is to start looking at how ways to improve the relevancy of our search results. Um, this is something that has been ongoing for a long time. We're aware that right now our search implementation is a bit of a, um, you know, a, a dull instrument. Um, so we're working with some third parties um, and, and true experts in the field to help us get, you know, a really first class, uh, first rate um, search implementation. So that'll be both in in-world search, right? So if you click down your little search bar uh, from in here and also on the marketplace. So we are going to start um, toying around with those, but that'll be in the new year. Um, the rest of this year, once we're done with the actual facelift, we're going to work on bug smashing um, and trying to just iron out all of the little things uh, that build up throughout the year that we just don't have all the time to, to deal with. Uh, the other thing, so that's kind of been taking up most of the oxygen um, in the room, but we have been working on some other small stuff. Uh, we continually do small bug fixes. Um, we continually do little marketplace um, tweaks. Uh, and we also helped uh, deliver and, and kind of get going the, the Halloween contest. Um, so that's kind of about it. Um, most of it's been on this overhaul. I was super, super excited about that. I can't wait to sh uh, for everybody to see it and give me feedback next month. Let's see, reading back in chat. No, don't worry about slow typing, that's fine. Uh, it gives me time to collect my thoughts. 2022 can totally be Halloween themed. Um, I don't think we can declare it that way. There's a bunch of people that also like Valentine's and Mother's Day and 4th of July and you know various other themes. Uh, so I don't want to step on all those, but we can certainly set aside some room for it. Halloween themes is the best. 2020 was the Halloween year. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Panther, let's hear. Does that mean searching for items would be more relevant to the keyword? Yes. Okay, so Panther, in the future, yes. That's exactly what we want. Um, right now, the relevancy has not been changed. So um, for the, the, the new rollout in a couple of weeks, there has been no tweaking to that, but that's our next step is to start making it actually give you what you're actually trying to search for. So this is just a, just a, a looks facelift. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it too. We're super excited. This is one of those things that's been something that we keep saying, ooh, we should do that, we should do that, we should do that. And uh, we finally have the, the time and budget and uh, resources to kind of go after it. So, Panther, you are not wrong. So, any other questions about uh, search or anything that I just said? And then we can move on to kind of more general topics.
uh, Eglaya, if, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, we have not noticed any across the board uh, decrease in activity uh, for the second half of October that I know of. I'm sorry to hear that it feels that way to you, though. Uh, if anything, we've actually seen our activity go up uh, at the general level. As near as I can tell, yeah, all normal. Yeah, no problem. Dusty, hey, so how the relevancy will be tweaked? I actually can't share that because I don't actually know. Um, so all of that planning is going to go into the beginning of the year. Um, right now what we're doing is we're resourcing. Uh, so we're talking to uh, people that can come help us actually make those tweaks um, and, and importantly tell us which tweaks should be made uh, because we don't, um, you know, me personally, I don't have the expertise to pull that off. So we're going and getting the real experts. So and stay tuned, I guess, is the best I can say. Uh, excluding keywords, I think, should be part of it. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Keep that in mind. I mean, just in general, would love to add all of the, the various... Um, you know, the Boolean operators and or not like even if that'd be great if we could pull those in, but we'll see. Uh, Azen, if you are hoping other people are talking other than me, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm on voice. Yeah, you've heard, you've missed everything that I've said. So sorry. Yep. Won't repeat it, but I am positive that Inara is probably taking notes. Probably Lucy as well. Oh man, if you're if you're capturing my voice for for posterity, don't ever let me hear it. I don't know what that is. It's like everybody seems to hate the sound of their own voice. Me too. Well, you can't hear yourself. It sounds correct to me when I'm speaking. I just don't like having it played back to me. I bet I think your voice sounds lovely. I'm also from the Midwest. Hopefully you don't think I sound like a hillbilly. I grew up in Ohio. All right, well, um, yeah, let's do Q&A. Uh, let's do it. Uh, for those of you that may not have come to one of these before, uh, we'd like to open up the floor. So feel free to ask me any question you may have. I'm the product manager for Second Life Front End Web. Uh, ground rules are really only if it's not web-based, it's going to be hard for me to answer those questions. Um, so particularly things around governance or fraud, 
uh, I, I have to defer. Aside from that, give me what you got. <laughs> Char, what did you miss? Everything. I announced wonderful things that you specifically would love. Changed your whole business model around. Get here on time, I guess. <laughs> um, new direction from mobile. Uh, you know, I, I can't say anything further. Um, actually, maybe we can. Brett, is there anything you can say on that front? Brett is our marketing director, VP. VP of marketing. Runs the whole department. You're putting me on the spot. Can I say anything? I want to, but I don't think I can. Yeah, um, I can't either. What I will say one thing, which I think is safe to say, which is stay tuned, but we're very, 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 very aware that there's a strong desire and need for it. And I know that there's people that are disappointed um, that nothing has publicly been released, but all I can say is, how can I word this? We're, oh, I'm, I'm afraid I'll get in trouble. No, there's nothing to announce today, but let's just say it's, there's nothing dead regarding our movement in mobile. Obviously we know it's important, so stay tuned. And I know that's not going to be well received, but there is, there is something afoot, so stay tuned. That's the best I can say. Okay, I'll take the tomatoes now. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. <laughs> I'm glad right. it's you and not me. <laughs> That's not a officially uh, statement. That's just off the cuff. But I really want to say more, but of course I'm not allowed to. But yes, there's a lot of good stuff happening. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah. We're excited. We think you should be excited too. Um, wish we could tell you more. But yeah, I think Brett's got it correct. Stay tuned. Um, more information will be released when we can. Uh, okay, let's see here. Going back through. So sorry for putting you on the spot there, Brett. It did give me a giggle, though. I'm going to virtually kick you. <laughs> Please don't. You will rank me bad a lot. <laughs> um, new limited last names for Christmas? Yes, absolutely, Naira. There will be. Count on it. I will make sure. Uh, create a product. Let's see here. Let's see, what else we got? As long as we're not doing coin. Uh, any more fields in the ANS? Uh, missing some things. You know, uh, if you feel like you're missing some fields there, please go ahead and submit those as a feature request. Um, those types of fields, particularly things like commissions you're paying, um, I think those are things that we probably could surface. So uh, just let us know what you feel like you're missing, and we'll we'll take a look at them. Yeah, definitely. While we're waiting, I would like to introduce Chap Linden in the back there, putting him on the spot. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Reed. No problem. Chap is a brand new producer here at Second Life. Uh, we'll be helping all of us get the the wonderful things that we want uh, into into the product. Uh, my Chap focus is on the viewer, uh, but there are other initiatives that I am working on as well. Uh, I am still new to, to Linden and new to Second Life as well. Uh, so I'm joining a lot of meetings, just learning. Thank you. Put up with me. I don't have a bear yet. It's a good, good call out. Um, 
So yeah, throw me all the hard questions so that Chap can I can I can scare Chap off from from web. You don't want to go to that user group. They're scary. They'll eat your toes off. Yeah, isn't it definitely put that in as well. Um, I would actually make a separate separate request for that. Um, and in fact, if if I could just make a a vague vague plea, um, put all of them in a separate request. So each each individual one, um, it just helps us with the tracking. It doesn't necessarily mean that you know it it just makes it easier to kind of keep things separate on our end. Thank you. I know creating Jira's is kind of a headache. <laughs> Lucy, I'm I'm positive you have just a micro for it. Or a macro, I guess. You just speak into a microphone and it just whoosh, creates them. Very few people are whirly tier. That is. <laughs> I mean, I did ask for it, so go for it. Give me the tough ones. Ooh, you do have tough questions. All right, go for it. Let me look at that bug. Give me a moment. Hey, so Lucy, with that bug, um, I, I think what we actually had was uh, <laughs> 42. Um, we actually knew how to fix it. Uh, if you look at the, I guess you can't see the timestamps on our, on our fix, but um, we were able to fix it within uh, a fairly short number of days. I'm sorry that it seemed like two weeks on your side. Um, was reported to us on the 22nd and the fix went out on the 27th so there was a weekend in there that's why there wasn't a rollback immediately I'm I'm sorry if that caused some ruckus on your end well right
Same question, different bug. All right. Uh, looking. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I was muted. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I gave you a full answer here. Uh, I was wondering why I wasn't receiving a uh, response. So I can say with uh, authority that it was not deemed critical enough to uh, roll back the code. And the person who deemed it that way was me specifically. So if you want to take anybody to task, go for it. Uh, good news is that we already have a fix for it. Then the fix is in QA. So should come out soon with our next marketplace release. Yep, no fish. My fault. Yeah, the starter mesh avi stuff is not actually web um, for this user group. Uh, there is an in-world user group that I think you could probably do. Uh, I think it's a viewer side one. Chap, have you run one of those yet? I know Veer normally runs them. I'm going to assume Chap says no. What? I'm sorry. I, I stepped out for a second. I just came back. Oh, no worries. I was wondering if you have run in any of the, uh, the viewer user groups yet. Uh, with the third party developers? Uh, I th is there not also one yes, for yeah. general residents? I have not been in one of those just yeah. yet. Well, fair enough. Uh, there was a question about new starter mesh avatars, um, which is beyond the scope of this particular meeting, but uh, might be more your direction later on. Uh, but Later on, not quite yet. I know there yep. are a lot of discussions about... Um, starter avatars, um, you know, what to do for new residents coming in, um, how to get them accustomed to the avatar system. So those are coming. Yeah. If there are uh, suggestions update. from that, from your perspectives on what could be done, I would love to hear them. Yeah, update incoming, but not, not here and not today. Thanks for the question, Yara. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Aglaya, I know we have done some uh, changes to make sure that we are not getting blocked by ad blockers. Uh, that's a constant fight. I mean, it's, you know, they change something on their side and we have to change something on our side, right? Uh, and because they don't notify us when they're changing their algorithm, sometimes we don't catch it immediately. And there's no way to know who's using what ad blockers, right? I mean, we test with the, the big ones generally, but again, can't test it every day and not for everything. All right, Lucy, let me read these out loud. Okay, so smarter term usage, 
with legacy place searching when a plural is used also search singular and vice versa yes uh, that is certainly part of it um, definitely want to look at uh, things along those lines uh, can you please get it with legacy search yeah yep 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 I'm assuming legacy search means the in-world search, like in-viewer. Yeah. Although I do believe, so Firestorm has a different search instance than we do. Is that correct, Kali? So the changes we make on our side may not immediately go to Firestorm. Uh, Eglia, it's, it's Elasticsearch. Yeah, so Lucy, we're specifically talking about the web searches. Sorry about that. I misrepresented. We will not be making any changes to legacy search specifically. Uh, Dusty, we always try to work with Firestorm, but uh, it's open source. So um, we, we make all of our stuff available for them. Um, they choose what they choose to pick up. And they're all completely volunteer over there. So, and there's not a lot of them. <laughs> it's, they, they do their best and we love them for it. Niara, that is one of the things that we're hoping to address um, by updating the, the instance. Make it go a little bit faster, and maybe even a lot faster. Right. I mean... The, the easy answer here is that the web search loads slower because there's more features in it, right? It's a little bit slower because it's doing more for you. But we're also focused on trying to make it faster. Slower, yeah, slower in the web or when you're looking at it through viewer or both or... Lucy, uh, easier to read is one of the reasons why we're doing a facelift of web search. So stay tuned on that one. Tell me in a couple of weeks what you think about it. Um, so the with the destination guide having empty empty regions, I mean it's part of that is just a moving target, right? I mean there's a lot of things that go into um, choosing something for the destination guide. Uh, sometimes it's popularity, but sometimes it is you know this is really a wonderful thing that has been created, and we'd like more people to see it and be able to take advantage of it. Um, and in some scenarios, right, like that might be empty at the time that you specifically are going to it. Um, 
there's maybe some algorithmic stuff that we can do to make sure that we're highlighting things that are a little bit more popular if that's uh, something you were looking for. So within the destination guide, we can sort by, you know, how many people does it have in it. Um, but the, for things that are actually being chosen to put into the destination guide, um, popularity is not really the, the full metric. Right. Yeah, I think sorting is, is the answer here. So I think that's definitely something we're looking at. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Search within the destination guide and then sort by, you know, how many people are in the region. Uh, Lucy, random zero traffic bug is not a... Um, byproduct of traffic algorithm changes. We have not changed any of those. Uh, it is more likely a byproduct of the, um, we, we had a, a database machine essentially stop reporting uh, for a little bit. And so it stopped reporting traffic for a little bit. We have made no changes to the algorithm itself. Uh, okay, Lucy, I have, I have two answers to that question. <laughs> um, one, I don't know why mole accounts are moderating the forums. That's a really good question for, uh, the governance, uh, governance team. I believe they have a, they have a, a user group, uh, that falls in their direction. And no, I don't think it's of cost savings on... Oh, they shuttered the user group. Oh, well. Um, I, I imagine it's that they were available. Um, we don't really have uh, moderation otherwise. And I, I think we have some version of the support team was doing it. But the moles are all under the same same umbrella. They may be better suited. Either way, not really a web question. I can't answer for sure. We can change some things about the forums. Um, it, it's less that I can't answer because it's a third party and more that the the support team um, generally runs the runs the forums and and makes those changes. So it's a good question for patch. It's not something I have visibility into.
Lucy, I don't totally disagree with that. That seems like a valid request. I would submit it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, uh, I don't own that particular product, so I can't tell you right here and now that yes, we will make that change. But from my perspective, that seems like a a reasonable request. It's certainly worth sending into our triage. Please submit the feature request. Pantera, the <laughs> the wiki is uh, a strange piece. I, I assume you mean the, yeah, the external wiki. I don't know. I'm not sure if the, the wiki has that functionality. Uh, and how we would do that. I'm positive that we could do it from like an admin, you know, ad hoc one-off, um, you know, make a request of your favorite Linden and see if they'll change it for you. But uh, I don't know how we would surface allowing people to do that on their own accounts, or even if we haven't already done so and it's just not immediately obvious. It's a good question. Uh, I would submit it to a feature request so that we can get the right piece people to go dig into it. Since that wiki at this point is what? How old are we? 18 years? It's got to be at least 15 years old. There's definitely people that have changed their password or their emails since then. Don't you threaten me with Jira's. I'm reading. Oh, we did accept this. Ooh, even better, uh, we accepted it onto a product that I do own, so I will go find this again. Thank you for giving me the heads up there. Threat me with Jira anytime. <laughs> All right, what did I miss? Uh, Lucy said she had a hard one. Okay. When did Linden Labs start tracking regions visited teleports along a streak? I have no idea when we started tracking that stuff. I assume a while ago, um, because I don't, I can't say off the top of my head when we started, and I've been here for 10 years. So my assumption is that we've, some version of always been tracking that type of thing. Um, as with anything, it is almost certainly not something we are tracking directly, but instead a, you know, like, give me a list of all of the regions that this person has visited. Um, It's a, a combination of many stats uh, to come up with these things. Uh, in terms of actually being able to surface that, that's a good question. 
through LSL? I don't know. Um, I don't know where we're where we're storing that information and how we're tracking that. Whether that's coming from somewhere that's easy for LSL to access, or whether it is kind of being massaged on the on the back end somewhere that might be difficult to to surface through. But that seems like a valid request as well. Yeah, the actually sending it on your Wednesday. I, I don't know when that started and, and where. Um, again, kind of not not really web related, uh, so I'm not sure what where that's coming from. Someone's doing it. Likely somebody in the company that I'm just not aware of. Yeah, Reed, it's coming from uh, our email marketer, um, uh, one of my colleagues. Uh, who maybe we can have join a future meeting if people want to ask more questions about it. Uh, I personally am not involved in it directly, but I do know who is behind it. Wow. Well, there you go. Thank you, Brett. Interesting. I'm going to start inviting everybody to my web user groups. Answer all these questions I don't know the answer to. Okay, NFT question, uh, the Zenoscope Epic promotion. Uh, yeah, let me share a little bit about it. Obviously, we did look at Twitter and the other social streams. Um, I'll make a kind of a general statement about it that may or may not be obvious. We definitely recognize NFTs are polarizing. Twi it was very interesting because Twitter was very negative on it, but then we didn't have negative feedback on Instagram uh, and sort of neutral on Facebook. So honestly, it was a mixed reaction. This room may be biased one way or the other on it. It's really a crazy thing what's going on with NFTs. Uh, we're obviously looking at it closely and guardedly because of uh, the amount of activity that's going on there. Uh, pretty much a lot of our competitors are looking at that space. I think I just read that Disney was even doing NFTs. I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing, but it's just crazy the amount of hype and interest in it. I will say we've been really, really careful about anything related to NFT, uh, I will tell you that every week we probably get multiple inquiries uh, from companies, both legitimate and arguably not legitimate, uh, to partner. And we've actually avoided almost every single one uh, for the reasons that we've probably seen in terms of the Twitter response. Um, so we recognize fully the sensitivity of it. We have a lot of people saying, when are you going to do them? Why don't you do them? And quite a few people saying, don't touch them. 
and a lot of concerns about NFTs. So fully understand that. I want to clarify, we're actually not in the NFT business, if there's any confusion about that, um, and nor do we actually have any plans to get into NFTs, uh, regardless of the promotion, which is just a cross-promotion where Zenoscope and Epic uh, did NFTs uh, to sort of call attention to our metaverse. We didn't profit from those. It's not a formal deal. Uh, it's not an NFT play for us. Though that may or may not have been communicated very well, but just if there is need for clarity, we're not doing NFTs. Uh, there's no announcements to make on it. Um, I mean, there may be people in this room that want us to do them. I don't know, but um, we're not making any decisions on that. We're looking at it, of course, like anybody would, but we've been very, very, very careful about it. Um, and I guess maybe to elaborate a bit more, um, and then I'll answer any specific questions about it. Um, Zenoscope is a licensed deal where they've created the Zenoscope metaverse in Second Life. Um, that is not an NFT play. It's just basically their IP inside Second Life. They're virtual goods that you can buy. Um, they separately have a deal with uh, the entity that is the same entity that we licensed the rights to Zenoscope from. It's a company called Epic. And Epic has two businesses. One is a pure IP licensing one. That's the part of Epic that we uh, have a deal with to coordinate the deal. They also have an Epic Prime, which is an NFT marketplace. So those two entities have done a deal to do Zenoscope uh, NFTs. But again, it's not, Second Life is not in the NFT business. I don't know if I can be more clear on that, but we're, we're just not. I mean, it's just factually not accurate. Um, let me think of what else I can say about it. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're looking at and taking uh, information in on how people view NFTs, both good and bad. As we look at it, I, I don't want to go and say, oh, we'll never do an NFT deal or not because I can't speak to decisions that the entire exec team might make. But I can say right now there's nothing brewing to talk about or anything around the corner. Um, it's just very interesting because there's so much swirl and activity about it right now. Um, let me look at the rest of the question. Um, Let's see, early, too early to mention when super uh, future collabs may happen. Yeah, so that's, I guess I just addressed that. So, no, there's nothing else brewing on it. Um, uh, we obviously looked at the, the feedback on it, like I said, good and bad. It's interesting that, again, Twitter in particular was very anti-NFT and not so much in terms of other uh, social. So I don't know if it's a demographic thing on who uses Twitter versus other platforms, but um, I found that very interesting. Um, Anyway, I don't know what else to say about it. I'm happy to answer more details, but that's kind of where that stands. And, um, you know, we're still even evaluating the Zenoscope partnership as it pertains to the metaverse in there. Um, there's still some future rollouts uh, in terms of new features in that uh, Zenoscope partnership uh, regarding the experience of it, um, but uh, nothing specific to NFTs for us. <laughs> I'm just reading this. Facebook take. Yeah, have you guys heard about this thing called the metaverse? It's kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't know if everyone knows this. Part of my job also involves public relations. So, like, I, I'm one of the people here who deals with media inquiries inbound. And um, it's been crazy this last couple of weeks because, I mean, you know, we've gone through, I mean, all of us here have been in Second Life for so long, know that there's been these sort of waves of hype, right, where things are really exciting and then they die down. And, there was a wave of VR, and then VR reignited interest for a while, and then our company did Sansar, and then we didn't. And now with Metaverse, it's like this other wave that's hit again, and it's just crazy to look at what's happened with Facebook and their play in that space. For us, we've ended up getting uh, a lot of media inquiries to talk about our feelings about you know Facebook's entry into the Metaverse um, and what's happening with Second Life. It's been an opportunity, I guess, to uh, reintroduce Second Life to a lot of the media who maybe assume that we're not as active as we are, but it's been um, a good opportunity to get, you know, word out for us again. So hopefully all boats rise, but uh, yeah, very polarizing what's happening. No current plans to sell to Facebook. No, I, think, I didn't see that in chat, but that's, that's, there's nothing to say there, not that I'm aware of.
Thank you, Brett. Uh, that was fantastic. We have about three minutes left. I want to be cognizant of everybody's time. If there are any more questions for Brett, you have three minutes. Uh, I'll add just one more comment. Uh, I don't know if I addressed this already, but um, Lucy, I see your comment about LL uh, and Zucks and Microsoft's hype train. Um, that's just a tough thing to say. I mean, what I can tell you is obviously we're well armed with statistics about the health of the Second Life economy um, and the sheer amount of activity that happens in Second Life. Obviously, the fact that we've been, I believe, at least an innovator on a lot of this now mainstream things happening with the ideas of virtual land and virtual economies, virtual cultures, virtual communities. Um, Second Life is very specific and unique in its culture it's, and it's wonderful. Um, and it is not what Facebook is in, 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 in many, many ways. I think that's probably a good thing. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't want this to be misconstrued. We're, I don't want to say we're trying to piggyback on it, but I will say that one thing that's been good about what's happened is the fact that there's an interest and scrutiny on virtual worlds and communities and economies in a way that there maybe hasn't been because of Facebook's investment. Um, for the company, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We are not Facebook hiring 10,000 people. That's a little scary, right? Um, you know, and so when we see that that's an investment they're making, obviously we're curious about it like anybody would be. Um, but I think that what we have is not something that Facebook is definitely looking to emulate. I think they've got their own vision and ideas of it. In some ways, we may want to look at closely and see if that informs what we should do. But in other ways, I wonder what they'll be informed by from what we're doing. Um, so, yeah, we're watching it closely. Yeah, they might. And, you know, if you've anyone who follows this for a long time, we've seen waves come in and go where well-funded competitors go after what have been called, quote, unquote, second life killers. Anybody here remember, I think it was Yahoo did Lively at one point. Uh, Sony had Home, which was labeled as a SL killer at one point. Um, and I don't say those in a dismissive way because I think there were some interesting things about them. But, you know, what's wonderful about Second Life and magic about it is, you know, really what the community brings to the table and the freedom, you know, and of the platform um, in ways that I don't know that Facebook is going to approach it the same way. So, but of course we're looking at it, right? But um, there's been a lot of folks coming in that are well-funded that have come and gone, and I'm really, really grateful and happy that we're still here. I think that is a wonderful place to end. We are at time. Thank you so much, Brett, for joining us. Uh, thanks, everybody else, for, for coming in. Always enjoy our conversations. Um, for next month, uh, I think it would be interesting to think about what we want from place pages. Uh, so that is, my, that is my, my parting gift to you next month which will be december so early december let's talk about place pages where we'd like to see it go have some thoughts Uh, Lucy, before I leave, I do have to run to another meeting, um, but I don't have a specific one. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, uh, 
asking here in this in this space was step one. Uh, I may throw something out onto the forums. Um, it's it's kind of tough to get an actual representative um, slice from from Second Life uh, users. Uh, you know, like this this space, for example, it tends to skew basically to the regular people that you see here all the time, uh, and it's generally marketplace owners and sellers. Um, the forums are similarly biased. Uh, so just looking for the right place to get a more nuanced view. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. Anyway, I got to go. See you next month.